All right, welcome to another episode of Troy's Tube. Today I want to talk about the Runcam HD2. Now, I recently got this camera, and I got it for one reason, and one reason only pretty much is the 60 frame rates per second. It records a 1080, 60 frame rates per second. I had an older Runcam, loved it. Runcam was great, but it was at 30 frame rates per second. It wasn't the greatest, but it really did work for what it was. You had some tweaks, some modifications where you just changed some of the settings on the actual configuration, and it ran just fine. So. I thought, hey, run cam HD2 would be amazing, right? Uh, I've had a lot of problems with this, and it could be myself, but I consider myself to be a hands-on guy. I mean, look at all the stuff that my channel that I've built and gone through. I've gone pretty far. Uh, with this guy, I just run into issues. I've, and one main issue I want to talk about is when you power it on, the problem that one of these things faces is that there's a battery in here and there's a compartment door right here. Now this door puts pressure on the battery and then inside the battery there's pins that connect to the actual board. Thus, having that connection makes sure that there's a constant power supply of going onto the camera. Without power, this thing can't record. Now, what I found is I hit record, it records fine, I go fly my quads, and then, yeah, I'm not the greatest. <laughs> Okay, so I'm the greatest pilot in the world? Yeah. Anyways, so I'll be flying and then I, I'll land the quad and I go look and the power button's not on. And I'm like, what the piss, bro? So I'm checking it and I'm wondering why does this thing keep shutting off on me? Like I, I, I'm looking for timers, I'm doing research, auto time lapse, I'm doing all this stuff and I can't figure it out. So what is the dealio, bro? So I, I, I got to thinking that I remember I have on my SJ4000 camera and there's a battery door underneath the SJ4000. Right back. And I remember on the SJ, here's an SJ4000. On the SJ4000, there's a battery door back here. When you would have a little rough landing, the battery, the, light, the thing would shut off. And I remember that I would have problems with this. The same thing happens where the, uh, the battery door would push on the battery and the battery would push against the pins, thus creating a complete circuit of power. But the problem I found is, is that when you would have a, a rough landing or any device that would kind of give it kind of some kind of shock, when it would when it would hit, when it would cause, which would cause some a downward force, thus making the battery inside here slide off, would disconnect the pins. This would shut down. In case in point, that's how it would happen. So I thought, thinking, ah, that's probably what's happening with the run cam. So Einstein's theory here. Uh, I, I got an idea and I thought, hey, I took a credit card. What I did here is I took an old credit card and I cut out a little piece. This little piece here fits the dimensions of what the battery is right here. See? So now I can put the credit card, little, the piece right here in place of where the battery is, thus putting more pressure on the door. Now I can tell there's more pressure because the door's kind of more pain in the ass to close. And there's a little bevel, but I know that's snug in there now. Okay, I know it's in there. And I bet you're asking next, like, well, how can you test this? <laughs> well, Troy, how do you test this to make sure that what you actually changed actually did work? And that's where I have a pretty good idea. We have the couch. <coughs> we have me. We have my arm. And what I'm gonna do is simulate a good shock, like a crash, and to see that if when the camera's coming in, if it hits an object, does the battery now slide, disconnect, and shut off? And when that happens, you lose all your video, and it is not fun when you record useless videos that you want to show to people that they don't really care. But hey, man. And now pitching for the Chicago White Sox, Troy's Tube. Oh, <coughs> you suck! Oh, <laughs> idiot! Lame. Let's do this. So far, so good. Done. 
All right, start a test. I'm gonna throw it at here. And actually, I can throw this more comfortable, faster and harder as I can. This will simulate a real true test. Here we go. As hard as I can against the actual couch. Where'd it go? Nom, 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 I eat you. Still lingering. Any one more. Even hit the ground, no damages, and it's still blinking. All right, so that will do it. We successfully tested that, adding a little piece of plastic, preferably from a credit card or anything, in between the actual door and the battery. We'll put enough pressure on there so that the battery will hold on to the pins and make constant contact, meaning that it won't disconnect from the board, thus losing power, thus shutting down on my uh, shutting down videos, stopping videos out of nowhere. So. I might give this a shot in the field later and do a real true test, but I've thrown that thing as hard as I could. Nothing has jittered or disconnect, and it's working fine. So can't wait to try it out. Also, click here at the bottom right if you want to subscribe for some more useless videos and useless information. But I mean, I was like trying to think of something funny, like if you know, like a movie saying, "Damn it!" Yeah, like if you got two birds to feed, why not feed them both at the same time? What? Thanks for watching. And I hope this actually helps you out and applies to you in some way that you can gain some knowledge and apply this to this camera because this camera overall is great if it just would just record. Um, oh yeah, and then the microphone. Don't even, don't even expect it to like use the audio ever. It's it's terrible, 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 terrible.